Alright, here's a quick look at what we get with the pistol when we buy the TX-22. Of course we get the owner's manual, and it's a pretty decent one. Obviously the gun is the primary thing in the box. Um, it comes with a sort of a zip tie chamber flag in it, which is very effective. So we get the gun, we get the second magazine, that gives us two 16 round magazines. We also have a threaded extension to the barrel in case we wanted to put a suppressor on the gun. So it's nice that that's included. Doesn't do me any good because the state I live in doesn't allow suppressors. But here's something interesting too. We're used to seeing this, or I'm used to seeing this, in pretty much every pistol box, you know, and that is these, these little magazine loaders. And I usually just ignore them and don't bother even touching them because I have Maglula loaders. However, this is 22 long rifle, and Maglulas, the ones I have, don't work with a 22 long rifle. So, pretty cool that they included a little mag loader, even though there are these pull-down buttons on the side of the magazine. So, I'm going to try it. When I get this thing out to the range, I am going to try this mag loader, and I'll let you know how I like it. And here we have it. The Taurus TX-22, a brand new model this year, 2019. Brand new offering from Taurus. And it is interesting. And when I first looked at it, I went, meh. First of all, I don't shoot a whole lot of rim fire, so, uh, you know, I... There has to be something pretty interesting about a rimfire gun, usually, to get my attention. And this one did get my attention from a design perspective. But a lot of you have asked me to review it, and that means something to me. So I did kind of go out of my way and asked my dealer to see if he could get a hold of me one. Get a hold of me one? It is an interesting gun. Now, I will tell you, just first picking it up out of the box and holding it, it has... A very very nice ergonomic feel. This is the, almost like the uh, the old Walther PPX. You know, it's so dramatic that dog leg in the back, but it's a little more curved than that gun was. But it just feels very nice in the hand. As you can see, it is a full size grip. The texture is very much like Sig Sauer's E2 grip very very much like that so for comparison uh, and it feels great I, I like that texture and this feels very nice and they've looks like they've put it in all the right places so it does have a very nice feel and it should be a great grip especially for a 22 you're not going to have recoil making the gun want to jump around so that should be a really nice grip it does have uh, several safeties in place in the gun. There's a striker block safety internally. There's also a trigger safety. And additionally, there's a manual safety. For those of you who really like manual safeties, and it is an ambidextrous control. So you have a safety on both sides. That's the only thing ambidextrous on the gun. The slide catch is right-hander only as is the magazine release. The magazine release is reversible though. You can swap that around if you'd like to. And pretty nice control. Magazines are plastic or polymer. There is, uh, to, my, to my eye here, uh, there is no metal other than the spring in these magazines. So they're very light as well. Okay, so rather than try to tell you later how it was loading these magazines for the first time, I thought, why don't you come along with me and watch? So, first time loading these mags, and I'm going to use the little mag loader that Taurus provided. Isn't it cute? It's so adorable. All right, and I'm going to start out using CCI Mini Mag, the, uh, I think, most most everyone will agree that CCI Mini Mag is considered among the very best of standard plinking ammo. Nice. I'm used to using the Maglula, which has, you know, that spring loaded uh, feeder, but uh, this doesn't. So, but 
it works. Works nice. There's a little notch in the center of the uh, feed lips of the magazine where you drop in the rim and then you push it back once you pull the loader out of the way. And that is designed, I'm sure, to help prevent rim lock because what that ensures is that you are putting every rim in front of the rim underneath it. And they, you also have these little buttons on the side that you could use, you know, just get a fingernail on there. But uh, yeah, the loader worked pretty good. All right, just repeat the process with the second magazine, load it up, and we will be ready to start. Okay, kids, Taurus TX-22, very first shots. So far, before having fired my first shot, I just want to say, so far, I really like the feel with the gun. I like the way everything functions and operates. So, it can only go downhill, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it it uh, so far has impressed me, and I'm hoping that when I start to pull this trigger, it will continue to impress me. Oh, and by the way, before I forget to mention it, See where my index finger is? It's where I like my index finger to be when I'm not in the act of shooting. But there's a nice little place, nice little index point there for it. It's, uh, it's real easy to find that, and that's a great way to keep your finger where your finger needs to be. There's one on both sides. I like it. All right. Here we go. Okay, am I allowed to uh, am I allowed to form my opinion after just one magazine? Because wow, that was nice. That was very, very nice. Let's see if the slide catch, slide stop, also functions as a slide release. Oh yeah, baby. You know how much I love that. No recoil. No recoil at all. Wow. Early on, early on, I am impressed. Okay, let's take a quick look at the numbers on this gun. It is, of course, a 22 long rifle. Barrel length is 4.1 inches. Overall length of the gun is just over 7 inches. It only weighs 17.3 ounces. Very light. That's with an empty magazine. The grips, of course, being part of the frame. It is polymer. It's an all-polymer frame. And again, very nice rough texturing on that grip. The sights are a three-dot system. The rear sight is adjustable for both windage and elevation. Height of the pistol is 5.44, almost five and a half inches tall. So I would put that right in the same category as most duty size guns. And it is one and a quarter inches wide. Has a black finish. I do not know the finish type or style. Capacity is 16 rounds per magazine, or 10 rounds per magazine, is available for the states that require that. Suggested retail on this gun is only $349. I say only. That puts it knocking on the door of this, the price range with some pretty stiff and very well-established competition. So the gun had better be good. <laughs> it better be really good. To, to command that price in the marketplace. I got it for 305 and I expect that that's probably the neighborhood that most of you would be able to find it in. So for, you know, somewhere between, let's say, maybe three, three and a quarter out the door, um, I don't know, let's see how it performs.
The only thing I hate about any new gun that only comes with two magazines is that it only comes with two magazines. And unless it's a Glock 9mm or something like that, I don't have any more. <laughs> so I had to go, I'll have to load the magazines a lot. And especially when it's something like a rimfire, you know, a 22, that you can just burn through the rounds so fast, then you got to go back and load the magazines up again. So I took the opportunity when I loaded these magazines for the second time to do it by hand without using that little mag loader. And I have to tell you, they load great. They load easy. The spring never gets very tight. Even all the way down to the 16th round, it's pretty easy to just push that right in there. No big deal. Even your kids will be able to do it, I promise you. And uh, no, no issues. No issues whatsoever. Huge, huge thumbs up to Taurus on the magazine design. And I'm not kidding. This is good. You would think, and you're probably saying, hey, well, that, come on, that's just basic stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. And everybody gets it wrong. So, thumbs up Taurus for designing a really good 22 magazine. The, uh, the slide, I believe, is aluminum or aluminum, if you're watching this over in the European part of the globe. Um, and that sitting on top of the polymer frame is just, it's weightless, you know? <laughs> the barrel and the guide rod are probably the heaviest parts of the gun. And the guide rod's probably polymer, I'll have to verify that. But All right, let me just, uh, let me just enjoy shooting this thing for a minute. I mean, it even has a big boy sight picture, you know, that three-dot combat sight picture. Pretty well configured, not a whole lot of extra airspace, which is the way I like it. I like this trigger. It's, uh, first and foremost, it's comfortable against my finger. And you can hear that reset. So it's got a very nice break. I like the break. Very crisp and great reset. And very short. Yeah, the guide rod is polymer. I'm taking a peek down in there now. She's polymer. So you get this thin little steel barrel, and uh, pretty much everything else is either aluminum or polymer. And again, the slide stop works as a slide release. Works very nicely. We do have an external safety, and if your dexterity is ambiguous, you can operate it with either hand. Or if you're left-handed, you can operate it with your left hand. Take your pick. The safety provides pretty much a locked trigger. You can only apply the safety after the gun has been charged. So you have to chamber around or run the slide, basically. It is a striker-fired pistol. I really, really like this grip. So comfortable. It just, it's just a, a full-sized pistol. Twenty-two may not be expensive, the ammo, but <laughs> you could rack it up. You could go through it with this thing. This is what shooting rimfire is supposed to be like. This makes for a fun day at the range. But I'm empty again. All right, so I burned through 100 rounds of CCI Mini Mag already. That was quick, and it was easy, and it was fun. Now, I'm going to go to uh, CCI Standard Velocity. This is the pure lead projectile. Standard Velocity stuff. It's a little slower. 
Sometimes it doesn't perform as easily or as well in some guns, so good test. I want to try and put a lot of different kinds of ammo through this thing, or at least several different kinds of ammo through this thing today. All right, let's see how it does with the CCI standard velocity, lead. Yeah, baby. It seems like a real tack driver, too. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to put some on paper. I'm not much of a fan of safeties on anything, <laughs> except, you know, single action only is like 1911s, but uh, when there is a safety on a gun, I do want to make sure I test it well. And uh, this one is nice. It works nice. I like, the, I like the access to it with your thumb. You can just sort of swipe it on and off, and it's got a good feedback. Nice, nice click. Yeah, I like it. If you got to have a safety on your gun, this is a good one to have. The ergonomics of the gun are very nice. I am really enjoying them. I, lo I love the way this grip feels. I think in hot or cold weather, it's going to be great. Wow. What an awesome gun. I am just digging this gun. So if you, watch, if you watch the channel, you probably already have figured out that I like guns. But I'm not, you know, I can't, you can't say I've never met a gun I didn't like. I've met plenty of guns I didn't like. But by default, I like a gun until it convinces me I shouldn't like it. And that's the way I try to go into everything. So I try to go into Every, every look at a gun, every review, every, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call what I'm doing here. I try to start out with the, I like this gun because, and think about the reasons I like it. And it's up to the gun to prove me wrong. It's up to the gun to make me not like it based on other characteristics. Um, this one is providing zero of those reasons for me not to like it. And there are lots and lots of reasons to like it. Okay, let me see if I can make some groups with this thing. Um, I'm going to use uh, three different three different kinds of ammo. Starting out with uh, the arms core, 40 grain, standard velocity stuff. Now it looks like they're all in the orange, that's good. Whew. I tell you, right now it's kind of a... My eyesight is the limitation, I think, right at the moment. Now moving on to the CCI standard velocity, also 40 grain lead. That target is 12 yards away, by the way, and those are 3 inch dots, those orange dots.
Okay, let's try yet another kind of ammo. Arms core, 40 grain, lead, standard velocity stuff. Hold on. Yeah, thought I saw a bald eagle. Arms core ammo. Why, I think I like that too. Okay, then wrapping it up with 10 rounds of the Winchester Super X. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> what a sweet gun. What an amazingly sweet shooter. I like it. So far, after about almost 300 rounds today, <laughs> so first, first 300, um, there's nothing I don't like about it. You know, I mean, I, I guess I could, if I wanted to nitpick, I could say, gee, it should have really fantastic sights or you know, maybe something, some ambidextrous thingy or, or, you know, I just, I honestly don't know. I mean, give me more magazines. That would be <laughs> my only complaint. Give me more magazines so I can shoot it more in between reloading, which by the way is easy because the magazines reload very nicely, whether you're using the little tool, whether you're using just your fingers or, or whatever, your kids will be able to load the magazines and your kids will have an amazing time shooting this gun. And guess what? So will you. So, big thanks to my Patreons for asking me to do this gun. <laughs> In addition to everything else you guys do, which is amazing for the channel, thanks for the suggestion and the request to do the TX-22. I love it. <laughs> this is a keeper. You'll see this gun again, I promise. Thanks for watching. And oh, by the way, thank you to my friends, Tactical AR-500 Targets, for this amazing steel target that allows me to shoot all day long without taping anything.